Welcome to GIMP Guide. I've been using GIMP for over 10 years. It's the most powerful image manipulation software in the world. Um, and so I'm going to show you that right now. I've got a black background here and I'm going to um, I'm going to go with like a white box. We'll create a box. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the rectangle select tool. It becomes your oval tool too by just hitting E for the ellipse on your keyboard. And then now I'm controlling the E or go back to rectangle by typing R. Now I'm just going to left click inside of here, hold the button, drag out, and there we go. I've got a basic shape. Now go to your tools tab. If you don't have it, click on this little tr left triangle and go to add tab and then tools. And then go to your tools tab. And now that you're controlling the uh, box, let me change the size. We'll type 600 by 600, hit enter. And now we have a perfect square. Now go ahead and go to your, actually let's create a new layer. We want a separate layer for kind of everything we're doing. And right now we're just going to make a box and move it around. I'm going to show you the basics. I'm going to go to layer, new layer. And I'm going to go ahead and call it the square. Hit OK. And now I'm going to go ahead and grab my bucket fill tool. And let's make something happen. We'll fill it in. Click right in this, in the middle, inside the uh, square area, the selected area. And there we have it. Now I'd like to kind of get rid of the middle and just have the outline. What you want to do is go to select. And the reason this works is because what we, what we have right now is we have a selection. You see this dotted line, almost like a little ants marching. That is what's known as a selection. And we have a square selection, but it doesn't matter what kind of selection we have. Just know that we have a selection whenever you see that. So whenever you have any kind of selection, you just got to go to your select um, option in the menu and you can make any kind of selection changes right here. What we want to do is we want to shrink that selection. So we're going to left click on shrink and we can change this to any number we want. Um, it depends on how thick you want the outline to be. I want it to be about 10 pixels, but if I wanted it to be 20, I'd type 20 right there. So go ahead and hit OK. And you can see that the selection did shrink and it shrank 10 pixels on each side. So go ahead and hit the delete button on your keyboard and now you have a box. Now we want to get rid of that selection. We don't need it anymore. You could go to select grow FYI if you're a little bit more advanced. You could go to select grow and you could just pick a number bigger than what you have already like 25 and now you'd be outside of it but you really don't want to do that very much. Um, unless you are confident but if you're not confident just go ahead and hit select none grab your box tool again and start outside of whatever you want to select in this case we're going to select this um, square and we're going to drag to the opposite corner just outside of that and then let go all right now we have a selection around our box what we're going to do is going to go ahead and edit cut and I'm going to do that with my keyboard by holding control X and then I'm going to hold control V to paste. And now we have a floating selection. And when you have a floating selection, it's best to go ahead and add, um, add it to a new layer. So we're going to go to a layer to new layer. And there we go. And so what we have now is it is its own entity. I can grab the move tool right over here, click on this left click and anywhere on the color because this is um, transparent. That's why I was able to just now click right through. So if you do that, that's what will happen. You'll click right through uh, GIMP will let you click through the layers to another layer. So if you want to only move what you're trying to move, click on some something of color like in this case we have a white square so I'll click on the square left click hold and you can drag it around to wherever you want you can do this with pictures images but this is the basics of how to create a basic shape 
turn it into an outline, and move it around. All right. I appreciate you watching. Make sure you're subscribed, and I'll see you in my next one.